Good morning. Um, I want to recognize uh, members of our city council who are with us here today. Uh, they've been uh, very involved and very supportive of this project. So when I say your name, if you would just uh, uh, raise your hand so you could be recognized. Councilman Don Hayworth, Councilman Tom Micklick, Councilwoman Cindy Sanders, Councilman Kevin Summers, Councilman Bob Cameron, and Councilmember-elect Stephen Weikart. Thank you all for joining us here today. And thank you all for being here at today's exciting announcement. Though honestly, this announcement may be the worst kept secret in Kokomo. <laughs> the Apperson Automobile Company was one of our community's most storied companies. Originally called the Riverside Machine Works, the Apperson Brothers Factory, located along the Wildcat Creek between Main and Union Streets, was destroyed by a fire in 1905. It was rebuilt in 1906 and dramatically expanded in 1919. This is the site where Elwood Haynes first presented his plans to the Apperson brothers to construct his horseless carriage. It served as a manufacturing hub for 20 years, building some of our country's first mass-produced cars, including the Jackrabbit. Though it, had, though it had several uses over the years, most of us still refer to it as the Nisco building after the industrial supply store and warehouse that occupied the building until 2007. Most of these centrally located historic buildings have sat underutilized and vacant for the past eight years until today. Now remember that just seven weeks ago, we announced the largest investment in the history of downtown Kokomo. That $20 million, extremely important project on the former Southside Lumber site can no longer hold that title. <clears throat> Today's announcement is now the largest investment ever made in the history of downtown Kokomo. It is over 50% larger than the previous project and stands as a testament to the growth and vitality of our city. I am excited to announce the rebirth of the Apperson Nisco site. Flaherty and Collins, an Indianapolis-based firm, will soon begin constructing a $32 million mixed-use development. It will include repurposing much of the existing factory's facade, as well as constructing a new four-story building on the site to accommodate 198 luxury apartment homes and 6,000 square feet of retail space. <clears throat> this community will feature resort-style amenities and will tie in closely with Municipal Stadium, Memorial Gym, and our city's trail network. This development continues the revitalization of a once blighted area of our city. It has taken a tremendous amount of work and collaboration to bring us to this point. Flaherty and Collins has partnered with the city of Kokomo and the state of Indiana to make this development possible. This is an ideal partnership resulting in a substantial economic development announcement. I want to take a second to thank the state of Indiana for all their support and faith in this project and especially the Indiana Economic Development Corporation and Governor Pence for signing on as partners. When the IEDC committee unanimously approved this project, its chairman and former Lieutenant Governor John Mutz said, this is a vote of confidence in Kokomo. Well, Lieutenant Governor Mutz, we appreciate your support of this project and more importantly, your confidence in our city. This site is important to the history of our city and it is in good hands now with Flaherty and Collins. With properties in over 13 states, they are one of the most experienced and recognized developers of multifamily mixed-use construction in the entire Midwest. They will continue to be a community partner long after the mortar is dry and the drywall is hung. Before turning this over to David Flaherty, I want to thank David, <coughs> Austin Carmoni, and the entire FNC team for their commitment to their project and their investment in our city. I also want to thank the City of Kokomo's Development Director, Jenny Jordan, in the back, and her staff for the hard, meticulous work that went into making this announcement possible. Please join me in welcoming David Flaherty, CEO of Flaherty and Collins Properties. David. Thank you, Mayor. Good night. Uh, this is a, a great day for the city of Kokomo, uh, the state of Indiana, and everybody at Flaherty and Collins Properties as well. 
If all of us did not come together to work together, this development would not happen. We do these public-private type partnerships all around the country. This is kind of special to us because we are headquartered right here in central Indiana. So kind of doing the development in our own backyard makes it extra special for us. So we're very excited to be part of the team. Uh, what we're doing here is really kind of carrying forward the vision that Mayor Goodnight has for downtown Kokomo, and that's creating a sustainable, walkable, bikeable, connected downtown which is, is very attractive to the top talent where people can come and live and work and play. And I tell you, none of this would be, hap would, you know, we're pioneers sometimes, but with what was there before the stadium was built, I don't think we're that big a pioneer. So uh, the fact that, that you stepped forward as a city, made that stadium happen, that's what was very attractive to us to, to bring us into the development and want to go forward with this significant investment. And also just the fact we work with a lot of cities and working with Kokomo and the mayor has been an excellent experience. It's not always easy when politics get involved, but here it was like what's best for Kokomo. So that we were very appreciative of, of the way that worked. Um, if you would talk to urban planners around the country, I think it would be unanimous. They all agree what cities need is really a, a, a true identity, a, a sense of place, a central gathering area where, where you really, you, your urban core becomes, becomes the kind of the focal point for the city. Now this is not to mean that you don't care about anything else because a strong central city really has a ripple effect. So it's not just helping everybody in the downtown area, it, ripple, it has a ripple effect and helps values throughout the entire city. And that's what you'll see here with our particular development. Uh, another thing that Kokomo is experiencing that so many cities around the Midwest are experiencing, you have people that drive into the city, work here, and then leave the city. And a, a lot of that is because of the lack of, of housing like this that's being offered. So what we'll be able to do is attract the millennials, the young professionals, and then also now the uh, empty nesters are being attracted to these types of developments. They, they don't want to, they want the amenities that we offer, the kind of the, the, the high-end finishes. They don't want to have to take care of anything. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm now an empty nester and I see the benefits of not having to mow the lawn and, and do all those things that you have to do. And, and then also the walkability. You want to be able to walk out of your unit, walk to the baseball stadium, walk to restaurants, uh, go, go to entertainment. And so that, they, we will now be able to offer that really in downtown Kokomo like it hasn't been offered in, in any other capacity. So that'll be a, a real plus. And, and the other people that really look at that are employers today. Because if you're trying to attract the, the best and the brightest, especially in the young, with young people today, the, where they live is so important. And they, they want to know, where can I live? And if they can't live in an, an exciting development that has the walkability and the connectivity that we'll have, they may not want to work there. And employers are very cognizant of this. So this, a development like this will help keep the employers happy here, help them recruit. And then also if you're a company and you're looking around, where am I going to go? If you don't have that housing option, then you're at a real disadvantage. On the other hand, now that Kokomo will have it, they will have a real advantage when they're competing for businesses to bring them to Kokomo. Um, there's also some big economic benefits that will be created. We'll be, uh, cre we'll be putting 300 people in downtown Kokomo with good disposable incomes that will be out supporting all of the businesses. We'll create uh, over 200 construction jobs uh, while we're under construction. And depending on the, the, the exact retail on the first level, that could easily be 50 uh, permanent jobs that will be created. <coughs> we'll be paying an estimated $360,000 in real estate taxes on property that currently does not, I don't believe, generate any or if any very, very little real estate taxes. The incomes with Kokomo having, you've got job growth, you've got uh, positive population growth, you have good incomes. When, when those incomes leave though, they don't pay tax here. So by bringing these people in, they will now pay income tax here in Kokomo. So that'll benefit the city as well as the, uh, as well as the state. So you've got a lot of economic benefits that are being created by this particular development. And we're very excited, very thankful to, to Mayor Goodnight and, and the staff and, and the state uh, for giving us the opportunity to, to really make a difference here in Kokomo. Thank you. And I'll, um, I'll turn it over to my uh, 
my partner, Austin Carmody, who is the developer that has kind of really lived this for, for quite a while now and actually knows the, probably knows the development specifics better than about anyone. So Austin. Thank you, David. I just want to take a quick moment to go through the specifics of the project. Um, <clears throat> so I would like to introduce to downtown Kokomo a mixed-use urban revitalization project which will add a significant amount of density to the city's urban core. The project is adjacent to the downtown baseball stadium west of Union Street and east of Main Street and bound by Wild Crack Wildcat Creek and the Walk of Excellence to the north. The project will have beautiful views of the baseball stadium at downtown Kokomo and Wildcat Creek. A quick overview of the development, it's approximately 230,000 gross square feet, it's 32 million in total development cost. We'll have approximately 197 units, 16 studios, 81 one bedrooms, and about 102 bedrooms, with an average square foot of approximately 900 square feet. Uh, average rent will be at around $1,100. We'll have 5,000 square feet of retail, 5,300 square feet of indoor amenity space, uh, approx approximately 290 parking spaces, 17 tuck under garages, and uh, 100, 106 surface parking spots, and um, 89 of those will be gated. Uh, the northwest exterior and interior f features right here, if you look to the left, just want to go through some details here. Uh, the northwest corner of the property will embrace the preservation of, the of a portion of the historic Nisco and former Hayes Apperson building. But by saving a large portion of the facade, this will integrate Kokomo's heritage into this new development and will solidify the future of the property. This area will also be the amenity space, which will include large, expansive, open space with high ceilings, which will be the property office and resident amenities, which will include the following. We'll have an indoor club room and an amenity featuring secured residential lobby, leasing center, fitness club with private yoga area, e-lounge with business center and conference room, expansive club room with kitchen, bar, and seating to accommodate larger groups and resident interaction, e-cafe and kitchen with computers and coffee bar, fireside lounge, occupancy sisters installed in the common areas, secure bike storage, smart technology throughout the amenity center via control four, 24 hour state of the art fitness center and health club, and audio system. We also have a package delivery system where our tenants can get our packages in their mail 24 seven. Um, also fun things, a smart, smartphone charging station. Um, on the outdoor portion of the amenities, um, the project will have luxury heated pool and pool deck area, outdoor dining, pit and fire grill area, uh, dedicated dog park, extensive landscaping. The northeast corner of the project, if you can look all the way to my right, um, will be highlighted with 5,000 square feet of retail space targeted for a unique restaurant with outdoor dining along Wildcat Creek and the Walk of Excellence. The placement was set to engage the Walk of Excellence, activate the corner, and provide a pre-post game gathering spot on game days, further capitalizing on the investments made by the city of Kokomo. The South Building, key notes, just a couple things um, that you can see here to the middle. We'll have a uh, rooftop terrace for residents gathering to watch baseball games and other resident interaction, a fire pit and resident gathering spot mm -hmm. to the west of the building, which just kind of ties together the south and the north of the site. I uh, just wanted to touch real quick on the exterior building materials. Uh, the exterior design of the building will complement the NISCO facade. The materials will include the following, brick, fiber cement panel, metal panel, and we'll have balconies on every unit. I'm gonna quickly run through the unit design features. Uh, these are luxury apartments. We'll have nine foot ceilings, 42 inch cabinets, granite countertops, recessed pendant lighting, washer and dryers in every unit, wood style flooring in kitchen and living room areas, stainless steel appliances, two inch Fox window blinds, two tone paint, digital programmable thermostat in resident apartments. Apartments will have high-speed internet and there will be blocking installed in the living and bedroom for installation of flat screen TVs. Okay, uh, let's get excited to revitalize this property. Now I'll give it back to the mayor. <laughs> Thank you again to David and Austin and to their whole team. 
Uh, before we break for questions, uh, there are two other individuals that I would like to recognize and thank uh, for supporting this project. First, if you would raise your hand, Jim Mack. Jim and his family owned the NISCO building for over 75 years. Our community owes you and your family a debt of gratitude for maintaining a piece of Kokomo's history for such a long time. I would also like to thank Rhonda Eads. Rhonda, if you'd raise your hand. Rhonda is the local artist who painted the trailside mural on this site, which unfortunately we will lose during construction. She has contributed several other pieces of public art in our city, including the butterfly mural under the Washington Street Bridge near Foster Park. Rhonda's artistic vision is important to our community, and we have already talked about, about ways to incorporate her art into the new space. I would like to thank all of you. Yes. I would like to thank you all for coming today. Please feel free to come up and look at the renderings, and we will be available for follow-up questions as well. Thank you all very much.